hello everyone and welcome back to the channel daddy cliff here as you can see on my screen we are talking about postco asia fellowship or scholarship this is a scholarship that i've been getting a lot of messages from people asking when will it be launched it is important for me to say that postco is every year but the problem is that most of the time students do not know the universities that are covered under postco so in this video we are going to talk about postco scholarship and the universities that are covered by POSCO, the universities that are in South Korea, that POSCO can actually phone you to study in that university because POSCO has its role. It is important for me to say that POSCO requires you to get admission first from that university and then you can apply for their funding. Without taking too much of your time, let's get into the details of this scholarship. But first, before we do that, please, if you know you've not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure you do because this is where you will fulfill your dream if you are a South Korean dreamer that is somebody who really feels like they want to study in South Korea you can get that opportunity here because I'll give you all of the tips because I have lived in South Korea for 12 years I did my masters and PhD in South Korea so I think I know a lot about South Korea having said that let's get into the details so this is it the eligibility if you are willing to study in a Korean graduate school in spring of 2024 and fall semester of 2024 then you are eligible to apply for this scholarship and then this is the deadline you have to make sure you apply before the 31st of May 2023 and then another thing is you must hold an Asian citizenship and you must be somebody who wants to do one of the STEMS major that is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. I just made a video about STEM scholarship applicants. If you want to apply for one of the STEM scholarship, there is this video on Chungnam National University that I posted in my channel, like the previous video. You might want to go there and watch that video. That is another opportunity. Or you might want to click the link up there on the top right hand of your screen. These are the benefits. It says full tuition and living expenses. We will get into the details of that. But it says nurturing future talents. Our insights aim for a global perspective yet our compass always points to a society of inclusive growth. It is very important for you to know the purpose, the aim of every scholarship because you will need it when you're writing your motivation for the scholarship. They want to see a motivation letter or a letter of motivation is something that will make the person who is offering you the scholarship to get to know you. By getting to know you, they would want to know if you know about what they stand for so you must always make sure you tell your statement of purpose to fit their purpose for giving the scholarship now let's go and click on click to apply now so this is the flyer announcing the scholarship it is important to note that they've written here 2024 which means you would apply to study next year you apply now in may to study next year they've given the eligibility applicants who have earned bachelor's degree and show potential to grow as leader in their respective countries applicants willing to study in korean graduate school in spring semester of 2024 and fall semester of 2024 and then applicant must have strong interest in stem major science technology engineering and mathematics like i said applicants must hold asian citizenship applicants must hold asian citizenship note that if you're not holding an asian citizenship you are not eligible and then benefits for master's degree tuition and living expenses for four semesters they will pay your tuition and then they'll provide you with living expenses for four semester and then for doctoral and integrated phd students tuition and living expenses for six semesters which means they are hoping that you would have to come and do your PhD for three years, which is equivalent to six semesters because every year is two semesters in South Korea. And then they would equally provide your national health insurance expenses. They will provide you with Korean language classes and then other grants to help you study without any stress as far as finance is concerned. And then they would make sure that you can attend postco seminars, Korean cultural experiences so that you get used to the Korean cultural values 
Korean culture, it is very important for me to state that one of the things that made me to get to understand and love South Korea was because of the fact that I could speak Korean language and then I could attend some cultural events. It is very important that when you get to any country, you get to know the culture, know the language because it will ease your life in that country. So make sure you take these advantages that POSCO is offering to you. Those are the benefits that will be accompanying this scholarship. Now number three, they say how to apply. Access the website during the application period. It is from May 1st to 31st, 2023 and submit the application and require document via online. Yeah, it is very important to note that you will not have to submit hard copies you do everything online but like i said you have to make sure you apply to the universities that are covered by POSCO scholarship get the admission and then submit the documents for them to fund your studies number four schedule application submission they say from 1st of may to 31st that's korean standard time then first round end of july tentative interview august results announcement end of august tentative all of this will be taking place on this website i'll provide a link to this website down in the description so make sure you check the description and do not forget to subscribe to the channel and also make sure you share the video with others so note it says here note applicants need to apply separately to their desired university exactly what i was saying you apply to the university get the admission and then provide proof that you've been admitted into that university and then postcode consider we think about giving you the scholarship to study in that university applicants can select up to three universities below which is in alphabetical order and does not denote any ranking of preference the first one is Enwa women's university this is a university that is in seoul south korea and it is basically for women the next one is Hanyang University. It has two campuses. I think one is in Seoul and the other one is in Ansan. The next one is KAIS, Korea Advanced Institute of Science and Technology. This university is situated in Daejeon, South Korea, and this is a technological hub of South Korea. This university actually has an admission that is ongoing right now for undergraduate degree applicants. And they equally have an option where you can go and fill up a form on the website to express your interest to study in that university and they will get in contact with you and they will get to know you and then they will tell you to provide the necessary documents that can help them to get you admission into that university that is one of the best way contacting the universities first before the admission starts even and then the next one is Korea University this university is in Seoul and it is among the top universities in South Korea the next one, number five, is Kyonghee University. This university has two campuses, one in Seoul and another one in Suwon, where I used to live. It wasn't very far from me. It was like five minutes walk from where I used to live. The next one is Postech. This is Pohang University. This university is in Pohang and it is in the seaside. A video will be coming up about Pohang universities and opportunities for funding to study at Postech. This is a very good university and it has foreigners despite the fact that it is in Poham that is kind of a bit isolated but it is a good university. If you really want to do the sciences, I would recommend that you select Poham. You have chances here in this type of universities because many people are thinking about going to areas like Seoul and it makes the competition to be difficult. And number seven is Seoul National University. This is among the top universities in Seoul, South Korea. I have videos equally on my channel. I don't really have to talk much about it. You might want to check my channels for videos on scholarships to study in Seoul University. And then number eight is Song Kyung Kwang University. This university is in Suwon, not very far from Suwon Station where I used to live as well. It is a very good university. I would provide scholarship opportunities to study in Song Kyung Kwang University in the days ahead or months. So, if you feel like you want to study in South Korea, then you might want to think about subscribing to the channel. And then number nine is Yonsei University. It is equally in Seoul. It is equally a very good university. It is among the top three universities in South Korea. And it has been like that throughout the number of years that I've been in South Korea. 
So for example, you have Seoul National University, there is Yonsei National University, and then there is Korea Universities. Those are like the top universities in South Korea. That being said, I think I've covered enough about this scholarship. I thought it wise that I should bring this opportunity to you guys, especially for those who are very much focused about applying for GKS, the Global Korea Scholarship. I've always said in most of my videos that there are many other opportunities to study in South Korea rather than going for the Korean government sponsored scholarship where the number of people who usually wait and apply for that scholarship is too much which means the competition will be very stiff this is an opportunity for you to study in south korea before i end this video it is important for me to say that if you want to know how much you'll be receiving on a monthly basis as the financial compensation or the financial support you might want to check the end of my video for other videos on post tech because i will not want to get into the details about finance in this video to make it very long so you might want to look at the end of the video watch the past videos that i've made about post tech i think i have about three different videos about post tech on the channel that being said take care take the opportunity to apply and best of luck see you next time bye bye